Guess what, everybody? You're watching The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Please support the show by going to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. Really can use your support. YouTube is demonetizing me on a massive, massive level. So you get cool free bonus content. You get early access to the audio podcast and a lot of cool stuff. Another thing you can do is go listen to the audio podcast on iTunes. It's Political Vigilante. It's in the news and politics section. Also, we're adding more dates to the Progressive Comedy Tour in Florida in January. We're doing Gainesville January 9th and Orlando January 11th. We are going to fill in those other dates pretty soon, but Florida, Ron and I are coming. So please check that out because what you're doing, you're helping graphics like this get made. <laughs> ah, we love computers, don't we? A new article or study, if you will, came out in grist.org. The planet wants you to stop eating so much meat and dairy. This is by Kate Yoder. It came out earlier in the year, but it's something I want to talk about because, we, you know, I sort of talk and joke about, oh, here's my vegan smoothie and stuff, but I wanted to give you some more research about that. I'm not trying to shame you if you're a meat eater, but just giving you uh, food for thought. Haha, <laughs> get it? Kill yourself, Graham Elwood. A vegan diet is probably the single biggest way to reduce your impact on planet Earth. The University of Oxford, Joseph Poor, a lead researcher, told The Guardian. He says that giving up meat and dairy makes a far bigger difference than cutting down on flying or getting an electric vehicle. Well, that's got to be, that's, they're intentionally trying to insult me with that last remark. I can't stand for that sort of business. I'm an EV owner. Proud. You can't talk to me that way. But, but they're bringing up a good point here. And for numerous reasons, we spend a lot of natural resources feeding cows, namely, and chickens and, and uh, pigs, but mainly cows. The grain, the water to grow the grain, to feed the cows, they are like the number three producer of, of a depleter of the ozone layer with methane gas. And it's just not a sustainable model. Now, Many of you, and I grew up in the Midwest. I ate a lot of meat. It was a big meat eater. So I understand the like tough challenge. I would suggest using, if you're thinking about it, use the book, The, the Gradual Vegetarian. Okay, it's a really cool book on how to slowly go, because it's, it's, I don't suggest doing cold turkey on anything, whatever you're trying to do. It's not easy. I would kind of slowly move into it. Um, and one of the things you could do, uh, Jimmy Dore actually, I was at his house and he turned me on to these veggie burgers. They're called, um, God, I forget the name of them, but they were like fantastic. They tasted like real meat. I just had one at a barbecue yesterday. They're unreal. I almost was like, hey, did you give me real meat? <laughs> Wait a minute. So there's a lot of alternatives and substitutes. They've done, I think there's been great research put into the vegetarian meat category like i had to kind of do that i couldn't like give up i liked deli sandwich i like all that kind of stuff um which i would recommend trying that here's what would happen if everybody does it if we give up meat and dairy we could reduce farmland by more than 75 percent worldwide and have enough food for everyone to eat the analysis shows that's pretty significant that's pretty significant you know and it's the kind of thing we talk about on the show and all of us as progressives or whatever, we're trying to, what little things can we do, changes in our daily life to help make things better. I talk about that, the, the small gestures you do. Let's say you eat meat every day of the week. One day of the week, just don't eat meat, you know? And start shopping around and try the alternatives and see if you like them. Just try this one. If you don't like that, try the other ones. There's a lot of great stuff out there. Um, well, this is a confirmation of what we've been hearing for years. We also know that getting the entire world to switch to veganism is a hard sell. And in fact, after a few years of decline, meat eating is on the rise again. Americans are predicting to eat are predicted to eat a record shattering amount of red meat and poultry this year. It's never too late to join. <laughs> reductarian movement meat lovers. One of the things um, I'm just hearing about, and I haven't seen any concrete research on it yet, but I'm hearing that they are actually 
growing meat, they're taking stem cells from cows and just growing meat so they don't have to slaughter a cow, which that is fascinating to me. And that's something that if you really didn't want to give up meat, I, I'm, I'm curious as to how that would impact if you're doing that, then there would still be, um, you just kept the stem cells, I guess, you could <laughs> create meat without having to grow and feed cows and do all that other stuff. But I, I, I got to tell you, as someone that's been vegetarian for quite some time, there's a lot of great alternatives out there. I take plant-based proteins. I work out a lot. And I've experimented with all different types of stuff to see what really works for me and my diet and my life. And I cannot recommend it enough. And you know who else can't? These folks. They'd be really happy. <laughs> They'd be really happy if you went, if you went vegan. Thanks for watching the show. Really appreciate you guys supporting it. Like and subscribe. They're unsubscribing people at an alarming rate. So please keep subscribing to this and share the videos out on your own social media. And when you do that, you're going to make Gotham great again.